work on the recruitment process. This is something that has to start early. Have some female leading figures in the community. Great role models. We do have good role models, but... A place where everybody feels appreciated. It happens everywhere. Something in the system doesn't work well. Yeah, I think that uh, first of all, it's good to be cognizant of these issues. It's good to have as much outreach as we can, such as programs like this one that uh, you all are organizing. And, you know, just trying to help young girls see themselves as scientists, right? See themselves as programmers or whatever. Like uh, most of the times we don't even imagine this can be us. And I think just having kind of more uh, events where, you know, they're faced uh, with this possibility, um, having maybe more mentoring, sort of more role models. Uh, and as one kind of gets more senior, I think having some discussion around these issues. I think that uh, most of the times what happens is that, you know, when these issues are faced, the women are already like a super minority, right? So for instance, if there's a sort of uh, gender, uh, non-gender neutral remark being made. So for instance, there are still people who refer to students as boys. Okay, uh, I have seen such uh, people. So for instance, in such cases, typically what will happen is that the guys around who you know who are listening to this they don't even notice right uh, and th the girl might notice i mean there's going to be like a very one girl maybe or two girls max right and then you're faced with this very awkward uh, position where you have to be the one spoiling the mood of the party so to speak you know like you have to be the one saying it. So people make all kinds of inappropriate comments and uh, it happens everywhere, like all over the world. You know, I've traveled so much. I've been to so many places and it happens everywhere and nobody typically even notices. So I think that as a community, you know, we can just try to bring this into the discussion more and encourage people to see this not as some kind of a fight, like it's you know, it, it's okay. We all make mistakes and uh, we can try to, in a friendly way, point these things out. I think it's especially important that guys participate in this because otherwise it becomes like this girls versus guys kind of a thing, which is hardly constructive. There's not just one kind of discrimination on this planet, right? There are so many kinds. So, you know, there's when, when it's gender-based discrimination, we might notice. When it's some other kind of discrimination, even we might not notice. So everyone's human and the goal is not to uh, make people uncomfortable, but at the same time, it cannot be 100% pleasant. So, you know, we just need to have enough camaraderie that this little bit of discomfort is all right and we can have this conversation and uh, try to build this more inclusive environment in a friendly and collaborative way. Let me speak from personal experience. At MSR, we run a research fellow program where undergraduate and master's students come and spend one to two years working with us on research problems. We attract some of the best candidates from all over India. A couple of ways in which we have been successful in increasing diversity in our program is to work on the recruitment process. One skill that is perhaps most important for research is the ability to go back, sit alone and solve a problem. However, most interviews do not test this and instead focus on online problem solving. We have found that such a process where candidates are given papers to read or problems to solve offline is an excellent way of hiring diverse students. Another suggestion is that perhaps IACR could also consider having fellowships for top women graduate students. I mean, I'm, um, I'm uh, uh, very happy that uh, uh, I'm having uh, right now one female PhD student, uh, possibly, uh, possibly another one soon. Um, 
so uh, uh, to be uh, quite frank, I think in cryptography in particular, uh, the uh, we, we actually seem to have a rather good balance if we compare ourselves with uh, uh, with other fields. I mean, here in Germany in particular, if you look into say mechanical engineering, it's very male dominated and uh, uh, it's uh, yeah it, it seems to be a structural thing but uh, uh, I think I think this is really um, a, uh, a very uh, a great thing about uh, let's say cryptography as a as a mathy part of computer science that uh, women are uh, typically not scared off by this right uh, when it gets too technical too nerdy uh, a lot of lot of programming here and there um i could imagine that uh, uh women have reservations but uh in, in, in cryptography uh, uh i mean we were quite lucky that our uh, uh our field of research is is not just welcoming to uh, to women research researchers, but um, doesn't actually pose uh, or erect these uh, psychological barriers, right? Uh, so even if you look at the field from the outside, uh, who are are our uh, um, great thought leaders in uh, um, in cryptography? There's there's a lot of women, right? Uh, uh, I mean, in Turing Award winners and. Uh, 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 possibly uh, uh, soon soon going to be Turing Award winners. Uh, so uh, we, we do have good role models, but uh, again, I think it's not just the, um, the aspects of uh, uh, having role models. It's, yeah, uh, it, it's probably just, uh, um, just the field that doesn't necessarily feel all male. So, I mean, if I if I was say working in maybe software engineering, um, where where the um, the balance is uh, slightly more lopsided, um, I I don't know uh, what uh, what direct measures uh, to take, but uh, of course the the recommendation uh, uh, to um, to group leaders, to faculty, is uh, you you can't afford to wait uh, to to let let go any talent, right? Uh, uh, you can't look into uh, whether uh, someone has the right uh, has the right uh, uh, gender or, or, or whatnot to fit in your uh, in your group. Uh, uh, they will get an offer somewhere else, and you can uh, you can't let them. Um, you can't let them pass. So, from 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 my personal uh, experience, it's that um, sort of the field uh, uh, lies somewhere in between math and computer science. Uh, I I feel uh, uh, that this this might help a lot. Uh, so, so as a matter of fact, uh, my um, PhD student did her undergrad in math. So I think this gives a nice entry point uh, for, um, for, for female researchers into, into crypto. Just, just because, I mean, if you look at the, uh, the, the numbers of undergrads in computer science, you still have a, a very lopsided distribution towards, uh, towards male students. But in, in math, it's more somewhat more balanced and uh, when you did an undergrad in math uh, uh, there's nothing that prevents you from uh, getting getting say into crypto so i think uh, this this might be just a function of us inheriting uh, uh, the the uh, the more equal uh, gender distribution uh, uh, that's prevalent in math um i don't know maybe maybe role models maybe women as role models um but again, it's kind of tricky. I don't want to to be chosen to any position or any role just because I'm a woman. I want to be there. I mean, I, I want the credit because of my uh, uh, professional activity, because of my um, uh, achievements. So it's not clear. You don't want to be in a position where people would say, oh, she just reached to that, to this place just because she's a woman. So 
I don't know. I, I'm not sure we should really, um, we should aim for or actively do uh, too many things. Um, definitely maybe exposure is, is a good idea. Um, running all these conferences like uh, Women in Theory that allows uh, uh, female students to, um, uh, to, to get in touch with maybe um, more senior uh, uh, faculty in different areas and networking. So uh, I think these are the kind of, of, of uh, activities and let um, the, I don't know, natural processes to do the rest. I basically get so many requests to serve on committees. Like in the past two years, almost every major committee, um, I, I received a request for pretty much every major committee. I'm sure that my colleagues, I know that my colleagues do not get this many requests. So it's not frustration. Of course, I can do as much as I can do, right? I have to say no because I can't really serve on every committee. Um, but it feels that something in the system doesn't work well because the, 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 the desire to see more women serving on make us work harder, which doesn't seem to be uh, the logic thing to happen. So. I believe it should be more balanced, the, this process. I am not sure. For instance, um, you can't really aim, or when you say gender balanced committee, you can't really have full balance because the number of men compared to number of women is, is not really balanced. So maybe um, the uh, relative uh, uh, percentage or relative ratio, this is something we should aim for. It, which makes more sense um, as, as a starting point. And um, um, yeah, I'm not sure really. I think just try to encourage more uh, uh, women students, but you, you see it, it starts from really um, much more earlier stages. There are less women that go for science, for instance, for, for computer science, for uh, computer engineering from start. So already there, it's not balanced. And then, um, so I think we should, uh, I mean, not just we, our community, but um, um, <clears throat> for instance, I go um, many times I had to, I was invited for high schools uh, to talk about my research in front of uh, 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 female uh, uh, students. And I was uh, trying to encourage them uh, to choose uh, uh, those topics for like when they go for their uh, undergrad. So I think this is the places where, um, I don't know the community, but, but I don't know, maybe countries or, or or us as scientists, if we care about this, should um, should be more involved with. I think this is something that has to start early. So ideally in schools, because it's already it's already when you look at at least, for example, in Germany, uh, when you look at computer science, then it's like less than ten percent women. I don't know. It's 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 not it's not increasing. So uh, this is bring it to schools and maybe bring it like as an as an like as an opportunity as something we can do so what we have in in Germany for example is, is, is the girls stay I guess maybe also that's an international thing um where where people where we also had something from the university so also girls in seventh grade fifth to seventh grade so very young could come to university and and we would tell them a bit like what cryptography is and of course i don't know if like <laughs> how many i hope someone will 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 do that now and now of course i don't know but i think it can be helpful and i think it could have also been helpful for me uh to to see something like that earlier to 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 so that maybe i would have realized 
more early that this is something I want to do. I mean, for me, it was fine not to have that because by accident, I still all worked out, but, but, but I think that's that going to happen. So, the, well, of course, as you said, the cryptography is an area where uh, there are perhaps more women than other areas of computer science. And I think that this in a large part due to this great role models that attracted more women to the area. And it's perhaps hard for me to tell as I'm not a woman, but I imagine that uh, uh, um, having a sense of community and since there are people uh, that uh, are uh, that you identify with uh, and they are doing those things uh, is uh, is important and uh, the um, the community personally I feel is very open and welcoming it's not that uh, there are uh, obstacles that are put there if you are not like the other people. At the same time, if you look around and you see that oh, everybody else seems different somehow, then it's very easy to see those things. And even if they are not uh, uh, real, they become real. And uh, uh, Talking about these issues, I think, is important. It's important to really understand uh, uh, what, uh, um, yeah, what the real challenges are and uh, where to go for help and how to make things work better. But uh, improving on these uh, aspects is something that uh, is very important and everybody, or at least most people, are interested in, in, in doing that. And uh, there have been a number of activities uh, organized uh, in uh, computer science. For example, the you know the women in computer science and Tal uh, has been uh, doing a lot of uh, has been very active on that front. Uh, that uh, can be of great uh, great help to to build a sense of uh, community. And uh, if uh, and when uh, uh, yeah help is needed from uh, many people are, would, are happy to help with these activities. I think it's very important to have some female leading figures in the community uh, to inspire uh, the young women to study uh, computer science and cryptography. At least from my experience, uh, that was very important. It was great to see these uh, leading figures around me, to see how much they have achieved. They inspired me a lot. Uh, and when I started 10 years ago, there were not so many women around. Now I can see that the percentage has increased a lot. This is very positive. So the way to achieve that is to actually promote more uh, female positions in the community. Uh, and another thing uh, that I suggest is to establish some uh, postdoc or PhD programs uh, for female students to give them the opportunity to study. I think maybe that goes to the type of research environment particular advisors create, that it should be a place where everybody feels appreciated and at least from my perspective, it's much better to create collaborative environments where students feel like they can help each other rather than only compete with each other. Uh, I think such environments would both attract more women, but in general will be helpful for everyone to um, move forward and succeed uh, in whatever they're doing.